going on, Jerome? So the Minnesota Fighting Vikings quarterback situation got a little murkier after rookie first-round pick J.J. McCarthy uh, underwent a full meniscus repair, a season-ending injured reserve. But we're going to rally around Sam Darnold, and we're going to play good football. All right? And still has all the potential in the world, has all the physical tools, uh, has looked good in practices. I talk about practice. Uh, looked good in his preseason drive, and has all the weapons, all the coaching, all the tools around him to succeed where he didn't succeed with the Jets and the Panthers, uh, et cetera. Uh, but I feel like the media can't get out of their own way. So apparently, Russell Wilson, old ass Russell Wilson, just walking in off the street, even though he's looked bad with the Steelers, he would be an upgrade over Sam Darnold, according to Mike Tannenbaum of ESPN on Get Up. Where so I'm all for like outside the box, like uh, content and commentary and stuff. Uh, it's better than talking about LeBron and the Cowboys every two seconds. But come on. Come on, man. Like, hey, you can have it be all polished as you want, uh, but just throwing around just random willy-nilly trade ideas just like we do in our basement. Like, th there's a difference. Like, a multi-billion dollar organization, me in my basement with my cat who's around your summer. Mm. Uh, but Mike Tannenbaum, former GM of the Jets and the Dolphins, which basically like, hey, this is a good idea. This is what he suggested. Uh, so he, he talked about how – so first off, Darnold's always going to start. But he talked about McCarthy and his injury, like the like the Teddy and his leg falling off, and then the Vikings trade for Sam Bradford. The the two situations are not analogous at all. Uh, but this is what he said: uh, I think a win win here is to trade Russell Wilson to Minnesota from Pittsburgh. Uh, I think he's a better quarterback than Sam Darnold. Uh, they certainly can battle it out. And then he talked about how. Ryan Tannehill uh, should be signed by the Steelers, and then eventually Tannehill would take over for Justin Fields because Tannehill had uh, such great success in Tennessee with Arthur Smith and blah, 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 blah. But first off, I love this reaction. Kimberly Martin is just like, huh? No, it, it, it's so stupid. First off, so what Tannenbaum is saying, hey, Russell Wilson is bad with the Steelers, but hey, him walking into a brand new offense, which he's not stylistically suited for, hey, That'll be better than Sam Darnold, who spent all offseason with Kevin O'Connell and company. Now nah, it's ridiculous, man. Or it's like, hey, Russ, Russell Wilson is so bad that he can't work out the Steelers, but he'd be an upgrade for the Vikings. Pfft. Piss off, please. Now, in terms of trades, this obviously wouldn't be the Herschel Walker trade, but in terms of dumb, dumb trades, it would be up there. It would be. Now, you, you may be thinking, it's like, well, wasn't uh, Mike Tannenbaum the GM uh, of the Jets? Uh, d didn't he draft Sam Darnold? No. Common misconception, but uh, Tannenbaum was there during like the Rex Ryan years, uh, and then eventually he's like oh, 17 different uh, GMs, like John Idzik was in there, uh, but Darnold was a Mike McCagnan a draft pick. So first off, Mike McCagnan looks like Steven Root, the character actor that you've seen in every single movie, uh, and also, I, I, how? Mm. so either he's like a hoarder, but I mean, I'm sure they have a, a cleaning crew at Florian Park, but... If this is like from a day, like what does that do to your insides? Like, what is that coffee dump like? He sees you when you're pooping. Mm. Uh, but also, of course, Tannenbaum is biased as hell for Ryan Tannehill because he was GM of the Dolphins uh, during the final years uh, that Tannehill was in Miami. So you know, take his opinion with a grain of salt there. Now, the Russell Wilson and the Vikings thing have been bandied about during the off season as the Vikings move on from Kurt. Cousins, uh, and we're potentially looking for a bridge quarterback. Uh, and, and Russ, uh, like, he had his glory days with Pete in Seattle, but last year with the Broncos, it was a disaster. Broncos country, let's ride. Uh, and it was so bad that they're paying him thirty-eight million this year, and whatever team picked him up, they're, they're, uh, they signed him for the league minimum. And I wouldn't even do that. Like for all, all the reasons that we listed in the off season, he's 36 in November. Uh, he hasn't aged like Kurt, so he's not even playing at a, a decent level. Uh, deep ball accuracy, which was the best part of his game, has regressed, except for that one shot to Cortland Sutton. Not that I'm still mad. Mm. Uh, stylistically, he's not a match for Kevin O'Connell. He's much better suited for Eric Coriel type offense versus the Kevin O'Connell West Coast. He already has a ring, so he's already you know, sort of satisf satisfied with life. And also, like, he's probably the 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 nice guy. The, he's the only nice guy in ever in sports to divide a locker room because he does it. He he, do, he does it wherever he goes: Seattle, Denver, etc. And also, uh, you know, the one year deal being able to sign him for the league minimum that's an anomaly, right? But maybe you only want it for one year. It's whatever. But either way, like, no. Steelers made their bed. They they got to sleep. And it got zero goose egg. D'Angelo Russell uh, interest in trading for Russell Wilson. And Tomlin, T 
Tomlin's a freaking wizard, man. Like he, he's going to take the corpse of Russell Wilson and and bad Justin Fields, and then all of a sudden, like he, he'll he'll get uh, nine, ten wins and make the playoffs as a wild card. That's exactly what. Uh, that's exactly what Mike Tomlin does. But hey, I, I actually really hope that Sam Darnold sees all of this nonsense, like all the speculation. Oh, the Vikings should ta- sign Ryan Tannehill. Oh, the Vikings should trade for Russell Wilson and just internalize it and just says F you on the league. That'd be good, man. Mm. Uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, former Jets Dolphins GM uh, uh, Mike Tannenbaum. Mm. Dumbest trade I did. No, no, no. Uh, let us know your thoughts, our thoughts, comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.